Hello viewers and welcome to another video. Something a little bit different today and something a lot closer to home. Normally I'd be taking some random ferry journey or train ride and putting it up on a video, but because we're not allowed to go anywhere at the moment because of the coronavirus, I'm keeping it nice and local. So I'm starting off at my local station, Canterbury West. Now Canterbury West is the busiest of the two stations here in Canterbury with a fast high speed train up to London. It takes just under one hour. Now Canterbury West has a big part to play in railway history. It was the terminus of the Crab and Winkle Railway, which ran from Whitstable through Tyler Hill here to Canterbury West, where the oysters that were caught out at sea were brought into Whitstable, transported by train, and taken off into different parts of the world from the massive railway yard that used to be here. But all of that's gone now, and it's just two trains up and down to London. Well, no, three, but more trains up to London. That's it. All the old history stuff is gone. Waffle. But let's crack on and show you where I've been going for my little walk in uh, COVID-19 times. Let's crack on. So just a short walk from Canterbury West, we've made it to the Westgate Towers, which strangely enough, as its name suggests, the Westgate to the city. Canterbury is a walled city. This was built in 1379 and it's 60 feet high. Keeps out the baddies. So we are in the Westgate Gardens, which as the name suggests, is right next to the Westgate Towers. It's a beautiful recreational park space area here in Canterbury for you to relax, chill out and uh, have some quiet reflection time. Or well, not so quiet, but also social distancing. These guys are doing it, you need to do it, stay safe. Now, from the Westgate Gardens, we're going to continue out of Canterbury along to the marshes. A bit of railway history coming up as well. Roman road that went all the way from Dover to London in that direction. This bit here is obviously not a road anymore but you can still drive along the majority of this road on the A2. So that goes from Dover to London as well via Chatham, Faversham and through Canterbury but this is the original bit here to London. a short walk out of Canterbury and already we're into this beautiful countryside. That is the Dover, Canterbury, Chatham, London, Victoria railway line. We go under that and we're going to come across another railway a little bit further on. <laughs> We are now on top of the bridge abutment of where the old 
Elam Valley Railway crossed from the main line at Canter going off from Canterbury West, divided off just up there, came across the River Stour just here and went off in that direction to the next station which was Canterbury South. Now Canterbury South is no longer there, it's now under the Kenton Canterbury Hospital and the line continued from there to Barham Bridge, not in that order, um, and then out towards Folkestone, came out near where the old Channel Tunnel is. There is an old railway centre at a place called Peen, just outside of Folkestone. If you get a chance, go check that place out. But the old railway has gone now, there's no more trains, and this is all that remains of this part of the railway here. crosses the path and the River Stour. We're about a mile and a half from the centre of Canterbury. That way, if you continue this way, is two and a half miles or so to Charton, which is a lovely little village, really picturesque. So it's certainly worth doing. The walk's really easy, the path is all this, so it's certainly worth doing if you get a chance and the rain restrictions are all gone. Pop down to Canterbury, take a nice little walk along the marshes, it's worth doing. That's all for this week, folks. I'll be back soon when the restrictions have lifted with more content. But for now, Thank you, stay safe, and wash your hands.